Hello, KCIW listeners, and welcome to Curry Cafe, where we put together a panel of volunteers and guests who discuss various topics from whimsical and fun to more serious subjects. My name is Ray Gary, and I'm once again going to uh, welcome you to the Curry Cafe. And uh, Today we're discussing, I guess, a serious subject, and we'll try to make it a little whimsical and have some fun with it. Um, we, we got a, a text before the show even started questioning what was our, what is our gay agenda. So I guess that's what we'll find out today. And we have two. I, I, I know every week I say we search the community to find an experts in the field, which is kind of a running gag because most of us don't know a damn thing. But today we actually do have some guests uh, who are experts. So uh, I will go to my left now and we can start to introduce ourselves. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Troy Leah, and I'm from Crescent City. I don't know how to call myself an e- expert at it. Just this is how I I live and and enjoy I, life. Yeah. I guess that's makes you an expert. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm I'm an expert cat owner. <laughs> oh, I have four oh. dogs, so maybe I'm an expert dog owner too. Yeah, good thought. Anyway, I, I was just saying you were qualified as an expert because. Uh, I'm a drag performer, um, a cosmetologist, uh, yeah, a savant, uh, if you might. Okay. If you will. And I'm Brent Cecil from Port Orford, Oregon, not California. (laughs) But thank you for having me in today. Uh, I happen to also be the chair of the Curry County Democrats. So our our county party is overseen by me and a other handful of people, our executive committee. Uh, I'm also running for state representative in the first district, which covers all of Curry County, Southern Coos County, and Western Douglas County as well. Awesome. And I am the other non-expert, I suppose, but uh, Rick McNamer, volunteer here at KCIW. And like Ray said, we're very glad to have uh, two people from the community that we can uh, rely on some good info. So here we go. Okay. Anybody want to start out with uh, opening statement here? Well, we, I'm glad to announce that we just had our first annual Pride event in Crescent City this year, and it turned out amazing. Thanks to uh, uh, Thomas um, Kellum because he and I just and a, and a lot of the community came together and made it happen. It was so much fun. Okay, I'm. Sorry to say I wasn't aware that was going on, so I missed it. Maybe you could tell us. You didn't get the email? What? If, no. if I did, it went, it went with a bunch of other sons. There was a lot of flyers, a lot of promotion, and yeah, it was. What What exactly happened there? What did you do? Oh, we had t- uh, tons of vendors and uh, with all their crafts and things, and um, we had free food. We had uh, a big dog show, which was really I fun. I definitely didn't get the free food memo. Oh. Or I'd have been there. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. What? It was delicious. And then we had a, a that was a, during the day. And then at night, we uh, from six to nine, we had a, a, a drag performance and uh, songs and dances. And it was just a lot, a lot of fun. Okay. And raise money for the community and awareness. All right. So uh, in your, in your uh, drag performance, you were no doubt uh, grooming all the, the young children there. Is that, uh, oh. was, that, was that your agenda <laughs> for doing that? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, no, I don't have any time to do all that. I'm too busy. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, no. No. There's a difference between entertaining and stuff, stuff like that. I don't groom anybody. But it was packed, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, say if, if seeing people in silly contests, costumes when you're young uh, was a method of, of recruitment, I might be a nun today, but that, 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 that didn't work either. So. No, I don't know. <laughs> there, I don't think you there, fit those shoes. There's an awful lot of controversy about uh, about drag performances now, and that's it's really just an innocent, fun thing. I've been to to the mecca of drag performances, I think, in uh, Key West, and uh, that it's just self-expression, it, really. Yeah, it's entertainment. Kind of fun th- now, uh, in my real life, I, I was a state trooper in Alaska, and my my last several years, I was a uh, sex crime and sexual abuse investigator. And in one case, I had to, uh, I don't remember what it was about, but I had to uh, kind of uh, just uh, meet people in the gay community. And 
uh, I was dealing with somebody who I thought was a, a cross dresser, and the person, the expert I was dealing with, said that cross dressers or or uh, drag dressers are not necessarily gay. Is that true? Or oh, there's a whole range of different types of people. A lot of people that just like women to wear women's clothing for the sake of doing that are usually straight. Oh, they present straight. Yeah. What I do is more. It's a performance art. It's not how you live twenty four hours a day. Uh, and what cross dressing can go both ways, you know. Oh, totally. <laughs> what What does your act consist of? You sing and dance, or what? Oh yeah, yeah. I sing and dance and perform and give people a talented, fun show. Well, I mean, if anybody knows anything about uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, it's really the one that set all that off. Oh yeah, yeah, because it it showed people in the community that it's talent and it's it's work. I mean, you, you just don't wake up and boom, that's who you are. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's these people work at their talent and who, that's who they are. And along with all that, was a, it, to me, is an important factor is humor. Oh, yeah. I love humor, and that kind of Please. moves it out all over the place. And let's be really clear that humor doesn't come off the rack, nor do those clothes. No, <laughs> for real. Good point. Our entertainers put together some outfits that... I would have never even thought to put those there together. There you go. It's like, Tori's working a pair of boots here today. I'm a little envious. What? I'm a I, 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 my, I know what? My footwear, a little bit. I mean, some like gold. I, doc shoes. But. My dad always just say, you only get one chance for a first impression. And you made it. You've got to, yeah. I think that would have qualified for the kinky boots. Uh, what? Play, wouldn't it? They are very nice. Yeah, Thank you very much. Very nice. Thanks to my husband. Yeah, I'm not sure that I could wear them, but he you know, spoils me. Yeah. Well, thank <laughs> you, husband, for the fun. There you are. There you go. You got to dress to impress. <laughs> Especially, yeah. And my first uh, growing up as a kid in the '50s and the '60s in suburban Sacramento. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know where this quite fits in, but I remember my parents and their friends. It was a big deal for them to go to. A place in San Francisco Pinocchios. called Pinocchio's. That was, yeah. And that was always, a, like, back to humor again. They had a good, and they told me yeah. about it. Well, back then I was, what? Well, what's going on? But anyway, that was back in the 50s. Everybody that, knew that place. And I guess it's been there from the 30s. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But, th but, but then you had to, you had to represent as a, a celebrity. Like you had to do share or whatever, oh. a, a particular person. Okay. You couldn't just be... Whoever you want to be, you know what I'm saying. Your own okay. name, like like you can now. Yeah. Which I think that was like a stepping stone to where we are now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's Another one I think of. Are, if is uh, she's gone now. He's gone. I'm sorry, but whatever. Dame Edna. Oh yeah. That was a very funny little. Uh, oh. Again, I I just love the fact that that humor can kind of smooth things over. Love Dame Edna. Take away that vitriolic hate that's is still out there. Right. I'm a, what it right. doesn't. What does it matter? It's yeah. about fun and entertainment. Yes. Right. You know, right. Everybody, everybody likes to laugh. I like like to be entertained. I'm not real good at being an entertainer, but I certainly like being entertained. <laughs> and, that, and a lot of people love to entertain. I've been in 37 musicals. It's I've been doing it since I was Often. pretty much born. So it's just it's how you raise, know you are. And I'm a military yeah. brat. So, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I think you could, I think, did, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was watching uh, Joe Biden this morning on YouTube. Oh, please, okay. Um, wake up, wake up. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen. Keep it together, keep it together. Yeah. Yeah. I just lost the whole train of thought, though. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. In front of thousands of people in the audience. Well, Ray, you're an expert. Yeah. Thousands yeah. and thousands. Well, you, you hit on one of my topics I can talk about. So What's I just want to say I don't see anybody, like, calling for their favorite football team to boot their quarterback because he had a bad game. So, yeah. That's, uh, like... Rain it a little a, bit here and yeah. and regroup. It's, it's like, a lot of pressure. Our quarter, our quarterback, and there's a lot of pressure there. And I run a little bitty campaign. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't think that big a deal. For a while. Nothing okay. like a presidential campaign. There's no but pressure there. Right. You should uh, so well, you get a little taste of that. And yeah. get you have your moments. I've, a couple times in, in some of the forums that I'm speaking with people, they want to know what's important to me. And when I get to the issue around abortion, for some reason, my throat gets really tight and I get emotional around that. Okay, right. It's an emotional issue and I don't usually break out and cry. I lose my voice. Yeah. yeah. I, was watching, I was watching President Biden just squeaking out and I oh, felt just the same thing. Okay. I've been through that a couple of times have, myself. Have you ever been to an event where your opponent uh, lied with every sentence? 
virtually everything. But Every, said everything. No, I've only had them flip flop on the issues. Yeah. <laughs> like all of a sudden, we both agree on the same. All right, back on topic. I, th yeah. I think uh, our, our our most. Uh, We're kind of the two in the same. We've got a lot of LGBT in, in politics, which is awesome to see. We need it, like yourself, and it just yeah. The, the more representation we have in all of the genres. And we're we're everywhere. I think that's what Re Republicans are too worried about. There's, yeah, yeah, uh, we're everywhere. And on speaking of, I did write down. It's been a while since I've heard this group, but I think they're still around. The Lincoln, uh, the Gay Republicans, Log Cabin Republicans. Log Cabin. Thank you. You know, <laughs> is that, that a contradiction? Uh, well, I don't think so. But again, I was, Log Cabin Republicans gay. I don't. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I didn't. They've even been know around that. for. 30 years? Their allies aren't, but they are. Well, exactly. <laughs> and it just... Really? It I doesn't did. make sense to me, but again... A lot of people don't people make sense. In a, what a homogenized Homogen. society, and maybe that's wrong, but the GOP now, and you brought... Polit I got two big notes, religion, politics, because it's in it's in there, those right. two things. Even though it's supposed to be separated. It's a Church thing. and state. It's a yeah. thing right now. Oh, yeah. Big thing right now. So, yeah, this election is really important. Well, like uh, Troy, you do give me hope by that what you said down there in Crescent City that you know it's it seems to be a lot of acceptance, and that's a big deal. Very much so. And there's uh, if you haven't been down to Crescent City, please come. I mean, there's such a big turnover. It's like the older set, it, the older community kind of left or whatever, you know, to mm -hmm. their heavens or whatever. And okay. COVID didn't help any with that. Yeah, because it was an older community. Now we've got like this resurgence of 40s, 50-year-old couples coming in and building families, families and lives there. And it's really, really fun to see. We've got sidewalks. Can you believe it? Oh. Sidewalks. Uh, Troy, I like, I like to call that social infill when we have this changeover of who we see in our society. Because obviously we don't all stay here for eons. It's like at some point we move on to right. another plane and there are people that come in behind. I think we're having social it's like a good growth. Yeah. Like, yeah. I need to interrupt the flow for something important. I forgot to mention the beginning of the show. Uh oh. If you're out there listening and okay. you you want to participate, you want to agree with us, disagree with us, or uh, do anything you want, you can get in touch with us live uh, by text. Uh, you text us at five four one six six one four zero nine eight five four one six six one Four zero nine eight operators are standing by, so join in. It's Tell us what you so, think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that operator's actually sitting by. But That's okay. She still looks great. But she's still ready. If I may, I had some questions. I'm gonna. I'd like to ask you, please. Uh, number one, what uh, at what ages did you quote come out, and and was it difficult or fairly, or just did you just sail along and wing it. Do you want to go first? Or? Let me grab that. I think I can make a okay. short shrift of this. Okay. Um, I came out when I was 23. Okay. Technically. <laughs> okay. Right. I was raised in a very religious family, a Mormon background. Ooh. Wow. Many generations. Okay. Some of them pushed hand carts. <laughs> okay. So it goes back that far. Okay. So it, it was a difficult thing to work out in my head, how to make a break from that, but found a very accepting Lots of people, whether they were straight or, or gay, allies or, or friends, um, were all willing to be friendly. I never had issue making friends. That's a huge positive. Outside of that church circle. But the church circle was really tight. Hmm. Not really open to the idea, you know, you got to be one way and that's it. Okay. And as, is, is that still the stance of the Mormon church? Or, or are they accepting now? Or, or do they have the, they're you can be gay. They're just, accepting if you'll follow the, follow the rules. Yeah. Well, you, can, I, you can be gay, just don't do gay things, is that? Yeah, as long as you're not gay, you can be gay. Yeah. <laughs> that's all there. Uh, and, and what's funny, that's what you, you, I hear a lot. That's the very standard story. Mm -hmm. But in my case, um, I, I I don't have a coming out story. Okay. Um, I was born, and my, when I was five years old, my, my parents, knew, they, they knew, right? So when I was nine, they sat me down and we had a discussion about why people were calling me these names and and being treated differently. And so they told me about what gay meant and to, and to stand proud of that and to, and don't let anybody bring you down that's going to hate you for just that reason. They don't even know you, but they're going to hate you because of it. And that for a young child, that's 
That's hard to take. It's hard to comprehend, but it was the truth. And I was glad that they gave that to me. You bet. And they were that open and very, very protective and taught me how to, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And you got to prove in whoever you are that stand for what, 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 what you are. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At least that's how I was raised. Yeah. So I don't have a coming out story. I was born. Don't, don't need one. I mean, yeah, yeah sure. Well, what, what's on the, on the flip side is that in relationships, we meet men that are in their 20, 30s, 40s. They're just learning how to be in a relationship. But myself, that's what my teens were for, like most people. Okay. High school, whatever. Right. You learn what, what type of people you want to love and life you want to lead. But Man, Many of us develop those way later skills in our 20s and 30s. And right. And have that experience as teenagers. We didn't go with our boyfriend to prom. Exactly. Now that's a possibility, but... Back in my day when I was in high school, that was not something that was even thought about. I didn't even get the opportunity because I was I'm military and um, oh, people used to call me around. Gay Troy. That was my name. Right. <laughs> Literally, since everywhere I went, Gay Troy. So it was like th there was never a, a, okay, and, and what? And we don't want and to confuse what? you with the other Troy. I just <laughs> thought, okay, well, fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll own that. But what's the, is there a problem? And in the military of all. Field, yeah, and my dad was an officer too, but well, he was very well respected. And <laughs> yeah, okay. And you're going to tell me the Air Force? No, the Navy. Oh, well, I don't know. The, easy, I, easy I, on the Air Force, Ray. Oh, I was going to say the Air Force. Air, 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 Air Force yeah. would be even more conservative than the other. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. And I'm, okay. I'm thankful for him because uh, uh, awesome. Nine of my family members died in a tragic automobile accident when oh. I was 13. Wow. All the men in the family died oh, in one wow. day. I was the last one left. And I wow. was 13. So because of his teaching me how to be a man and a, a good person and a gay person, you know, just yeah. what he gave me was monumental. Well, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. A so human, I'm, I'm a, lucky. I, a I human so with lucky. integrity is what he taught you. Exactly. To teach everybody, treat everybody the same. I mean, there's going to be nice and evil people all over the place. Right. And you get to choose your family. You know, your social group. Your other family. The ones that really, you call at three in the morning, you know, help, my, you know, I broke a heel and I'm over here, help me. <laughs> or whatever, they're there for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right on. There's that inner thing, which is, is, Everybody is has awesome. Everybody that, has that circle, I hope. Yeah. And outside of your immediate, the family you don't choose and the family you do choose. Exactly. And they can be very different. It's, it, yeah, and there's so, some polar opposite, especially with the religious aspects of it all, and it's it can be really complicated to say the least. It's yeah. it's, it's become a, a wonderful uh, touchstone thing for uh, the Republican Party to use uh, to 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 gather the troops. Uh, this is this is something really hot. It's really hot because we know all these gay people are just trying to groom your children, and the library books and all the other gay things that they have to confront with. And boy, does that get votes. Well. I'm leaving that up to the people who want to be parents. I don't have kids, and I never strive to have children. I've me, thought about maybe me. fostering might be a really cool thing to do. Sure, but uh, <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think a different it's a good program. It, yeah, it, it's something especially I think, with the state. Yeah, it needs needs to be done. I think. Yeah, but, I'm a licensed to adopt a uh, foster a parent. Nice, but I only wanted to adopt. I didn't want to foster. Okay, and then my second husband. I'm on my third husband. Uh, had passed, and so that didn't come to fruition. So you and I have that in common. Would would but, would would you be allowed to be a foster parent? Would you oh yeah, to? now now Absolutely. back yeah, in okay. the eighties and nineties, no, not so much. Yeah, because and they literally told me to my face, men are, are not able to mentally to raise children, and if you look back in our history, in the forties and fifties, when the wife died and he had kids. They would take the kids away from the father because the father didn't know how to raise children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I didn't know, it doesn't surprise me. So it's just like that concept was still in in the air, and it was like, well, why do you think the children got there? The women had to either pass or whatever. There's all these people, children that need homes, right? Or the kids would go to another family member, okay? A female right. family member or a family. There's got to be a female. I'm going to say, or the father would just hurry up and get married to whomever. Okay, um, first, I mean, I think that happens. That happens, that happens a lot. Yeah, um, I have to before I forget because my memory is that way. Um, Brett, you were talking about the Mormon, and 
I lost a high school friend. I got to think of the year. I have it written down somewhere. But the Prop Eight California thing. Remember that fiasco? I haven't forgotten. Okay, and um, a, a good my best friend in high school happened to live in the same neighborhood that we were living in, and they had two Prop Eight signs. Anyway, that issue alone. It, after that, and my wife was especially uh, having uh, two gay brothers. Um, I'm sorry, one gay brother. Anyway, she was like, hey, I, I can't deal with these people if they're going to be. Because I think that Prop 8 thing was. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't, oh, oh eight, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It was about. I, I know what it is. I, it's I wasn't, simply between a man and a woman. Married right, right. um, Bull, you know what? But anyway. That the Mormon uh, Church contributed. And the Mormon oh, Church was a two, huge contributor. $2 million. Dollars I think that. Yeah, I, I won't say the other one. Or I'm, I know the Mormon Church was. Yeah. You know, and I thought, boy, now it was repealed or whatever the correct term is there. Yes. Right. Uh, the vote. Well, you know, the history about literally actual marriage, the men only married women to for a property. That's why they take your last name because they own you. Right. Look at your yeah. history, people. And we just wanted to have equal rights. Miss, m- miss, Mrs. is... is uh, possessive for misters. Hello. Oh, wow. You're That's basically why a slave. M- you know? MR yeah. apostrophe, yes. Yeah. Well, and don't forget procreation and your lineage grows under Oh yeah. Under that heading of yeah. family. Right. So that, Which yeah. not every person does, you know, right. can do that. But to that point, a lot of people forget that we're all really, we start off as women. That's why we have these right here, right? Oh, okay. We're all women to start off with, right? Yeah, you're talking science. Be careful. Science. <laughs> I, I know. I'm sorry, but it's on your body if you if, if you're you know concerned and don't understand. We all have. You know, so there's got to be some gray area in between that and birth. When you get that last chromosome, you become a male. Okay. That's always been my opinion. Yes. People, and, people forget that. And I think even with, with the gay issue or the abortion issue, I'll run. Let I don't. I'm not a black and white person in most most things. I think there's nuances and uh, every birth is different. Yes, every person right. is different. Right, and th- and there's of course there's one of the major things about uh, people believe that I'll, I'll go stick to the gay. You're 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 not born gay. You are uh, <laughs> groomed, is, groomed, groomed. Right. Thank you. Go into drag and shows. I, I, I just <laughs> never believe believe that at all. Where's the science behind that? I know there isn't. Any. I know. I do. Have, I did bring in an article. I couldn't. I got this from the Santa Rosa Press Democrat, uh, actually a couple of weeks ago. But I knew we were talking, and you know, just one of the crazy thoughts out there. So there's a beach in Southern California with the lifeguards. Um, did you read this, Brett? I have. Okay. I think I know where you're going. Okay. Well, it's just part of this whole prejudicial, crazy stuff. But the uh, lifeguards down there are under the auspices, if you will, of the fire department. Mm-hmm. This guy was a chief in the fire department and was appalled and aghast that he had to be a lifeguard while the pride flag was flying Flying in his general area. And it kind of made me think of that other stupid case where the baker didn't want to bake the cake for the gay co- I mean, I guess everybody has a right, but I thought, uh, uh, how How does that shallow? affect him? Well, I was going to say, That's if, if the person is drowning and screaming, oh, I'm gay, is he just going to turn the other cheek? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Stuff. It's discriminatory. Or, it's got, there, it got a lot of praise down there. there. Of yeah. course, they'll, they'll eat on crumbs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> God. So, yeah. Rick, if I can, not to discount what you're talking about yes. here. But I want to reach back on the Prop 8 thing, California Prop oh, 8. Oh, good. Okay. Um, we still have that in our constitution in Oregon. Measure 36 I, passed, what year was that? In okay. 92, I want to say. I was going to say. Long it before I lived in state, Oregon. State probably, huh? Yeah. We still have that in our constitution in okay. Oregon. The only reason it's not enforceable is because the Supreme Court, let's make sure this doesn't change, well, the Supreme Court well. and no Burgerfeld made protected right. gay people and same-sex marriage okay. nationally. Because yeah. of that, but we still have that on our constitution, and there there's some work going on right now. Um, looking in 2026 to uh, put up a measure on the ballot to do away with eradicate it, yeah. eradicate it out of our constitution, um, and to protect women and their their need for um, for reproductive care, well, yeah, and for trans care as well. Those three things. It's, okay. some, it's something that was in the legislature in 20. Four, twenty-three, and twenty-four, and that's what caused the walkout in the Senate in Oregon. 
last wow. year. Oh, I remember that. That's how yeah. badly Republicans did not want that to pass. I don't know how that or why that would harm them in any way, but they did not want that to pass. Well, it's but a power. It's a power trip. Yeah, they just didn't show up for they, work. And yeah. let's say ten of them didn't get to run for re-election this year. There you go. So other people got. There. They're just scared. I don't know what they're scared of it because the the minority has turned into the majority, in my opinion, yeah. and that's where we're at. Yeah. So or, as a society, and in, in the the white Republican or the who's been in control for many many years, they're just scared of that because they're not in control anymore. Right. And that's my opinion. Okay, in case you've just joined us. Now, you know I don't like people tuning in late, so uh, it's we'll, very well, rude. but we will make some allowances for you. Now. Everybody else has been <laughs> here, and you're interrupting. But anyway, in case you've just joined us, uh, you can text us and join in the conversation if you want. You can text us at 541-661-4098. Please do. 541-661-4098. If you want to send us a text and yell at us or do whatever, go well, on. I'm getting a, a direct message on, on Facebook from a fan of mine in Port Orford. Well, please. That they're so enjoying this. Mormon? She says, we need to talk. She and I need to talk. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, there we go. A listener. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm she's not the only down. one. <laughs> so I write that down. Right. Not the only what one time is it I can put the time oh, yeah, in the day? Hello. 26. I and tried to use the they pronoun, right. and I gave away that it's a she. Oh, so. oh no. <laughs> That's the wrong pronoun. <laughs> That's okay. That was somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody brought up the pronoun. Yeah. Can somebody please explain that. some of that to me? Yeah. Uh, but uh, I assume you might know some. I can give you my brief explanation. We have We have a good friend, a personally. Denise. Sensible. Is it Denise? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, perfectly been. sensible, intelligent, very intelligent woman who wants to re be referred to as they. Okay, I'm not mm -hmm. aware then. Do I have that right? Okay. I'll, I'll have to say off the air who it is, but uh, okay. I, what is what is this pronoun they and so all these other different pronouns? I, I go to a doctor now, and, and, and when it says uh, uh, a, um Gender, there's about six different choices. What's that gray area I, I was d d talking about earlier? Those you know, so what is a they? Do you, you want to take that one? I'll I can, follow I can it through you. that. Yeah, it's easy. Overall on the pronoun issue is where I'll, I'll pick up, is trying to show some respect for people who are different than he or she. Right. And recognizing the fact that there are people in our society that don't recognize as being male or female. There's some They feel that they're somewhere in between. So by providing my pronouns in, in discussion with groups of people, it just lets them know who I am. And if they want to identify themselves by their pronouns that way, it puts us all on a level playing field. The they pronoun is for people who are consider themselves non-binary. Non they may not identify as Correct. male or female. Correct. We used to call them tomboys. Some right. of them. <laughs> okay. I have There's a number been. of non-binary friends who, by sight, you might identify as tomboys or, or women who just tend to be a little bit butch. Well, I think that's, that's where it. the confusion lies. It's, right. It's what, what you represent as. Because, like, you'll see me today, right? And what what are you representing as? I'm still a male, but there's female tendencies, like the shoes or whatever you might pick, the earrings or whatever. You, you think it's too feminine. So uh, my pro pronoun is, like, I'm gender fluid. Just depends on what day it is, basically. Tomorrow I might want to wear some you would consider more male or more butch or whatever. But it's he, him. I'm a man that wants to be a man, and I am married to a man. End of story. Okay. The first is how you represent to, to your, you know, the, the world. Okay. And, I guess I am. Right? Well, that's and, it, and it's identifying yourself. Right. So I'm not in a position to tell anybody how they should feel about how they feel they are or who they, they are. They are who they want. How they want to present themselves to the world. That's their position. And if they well, they're just getting more. The opportunity like myself to do that right because you had to fit in that box you're a guy you've got this genitalia you're you're all you have to be and we're, we all know that that's so great it's the binary choice it's yes or no it is and it's so not everybody's a little bit everywhere there's a lot of right and it's been here at the beginning of time we just have now yeah and i think enjoying uh, it basically is what i say yeah. i think the religion ha plays a big part of that back to oh man. yeah boy oh, well before i forget we did get another text I'll say it. All it said was "Dyke dude." Don't know where the person's coming from. <laughs> that's 
Uh, That's very educational. When, <laughs> when when I lived in Alaska, when I was in uh, in Fairbanks, still working as a state trooper, uh, my partner was a lesbian, and basically all my friends were lesbians, and they referred to me as a dyke dude. Okay, well, yeah. maybe we're all dyke dude. That's fine. I, Call us whatever you I, want. I never got the motorcycle uh, or the motorcycle jacket, but oh, I did. Okay. Did you get a cat? Huh? You said you were a cat people because apparently lesbians <laughs> like cats. <laughs> It's and ridiculous. Before I forget, I just want everybody out there to know that while you're texting in, please text in that you are listening to KCIW 100.7 FM. Really great guys. Community together. and volunteer station. Yeah. And we're always ready to stand by for those intelligent texts that you want to send in. It's 541 661 4098. He's funny. Now, I think I, I, for, for me, anyhow, one of the, when I when I hear the term gay or gay pride or gay liberation or any of that type of stuff, it, kind of the thing that comes to mind is Stonewall. Ooh, and I, I think back wow. to Stonewall, and Stonewall was a police raid on a on a gay club, arresting people who were wearing more than one. Uh, article of clothing, article of clothing yeah, and, or dancing or something like that. It was the Stonewall Inn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stonewall the year I was born, that's the, the why I was born to. Oh, of the year of Stonewall. Uh -huh. but, okay. But but the, th the thing I think about is that the police were going in to arrest people for the things I just said. And, and, excuse me. Well, I mean, and that was considered absolutely perfect. Those people would have been arrested, arraigned, and did whatever. That was the law then, and it, yeah, people forget yeah. how horrible it was for us as LGBT people. I mean, there was literally laws that we couldn't wear so many. Today, I would be uh, mega arrested. Yes, yeah, right. yeah, because if, because your opinion is that I'm whatever's too feminine, right? And same back and forth. You can't wear pants because you're you're a woman. This that's so you know prehistoric. Yeah, that's opening. Century. Opening my brain a little bit while I was doing research, the Stonewall, I knew very little about it. And when it, last week when I was reading it, at first with the one I read was, yeah, the police came in and the gays were violent and blah, blah, blah. But it, then it said, but they had been coming into these clubs weeks and months prior. Oh, yeah. This is just the uh, beating people up and, car, you know, it's like it, it, and cars Popeye says, it. it's all I can stand and I can't stand no more, man. Exactly. We're done with this crap. Was, was Stonewall yeah. spontaneous or was it planned? No, they, 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 they were just fed up. There was it was a but, the time in the day they were just fed up with being treated like garbage. Literally. But had they decided before the no, cops no, no, showed no, up, no, it was no. just okay. They had so it was beaten and assaulted and defiled. Yes, just because they were sitting next to another uh, male or they had too much of feminine whatever on, in their opinion. Right. Or they were wearing an earring, or maybe oh my god, or a lipstick, or whatever, and it's like, like a blouse instead of a shirt. Any, anybody, Why does that affect anybody? Anybody right. says that the gays attack the police. Uh, there's lots of footage of this incident. Oh, right. It right. can be seen drug right. off into the paddy wagon. Yeah. Things right. of that nature. But they just, in the past, I guess they had just said, okay, I'm a rooster and walked up. off. And now, no, we ain't going to take this anymore. We yep. do have another, along with the pronouns, a text. Thank you. It says, instead of they, I wish one already in use had been chosen. I don't quite. Anybody get that? Huh? Exactly. What? Okay, the text is, instead of, in quotations, they, I wish, in quotations, one, uh, oh, gosh, I lost, oh, the, already in use, had been chosen. So, and okay. then real quick, right behind that, here's another one. We should all just be able to live our best life. Exactly. No matter what that is. I don't have my glasses, I'm sorry, but here we go. If I am not hurting anyone, then don't. There we go. There you go. Thank That's you fine. for that. Well, uh, if you want to be one of those people who become uh, more or less famous on the radio, 541-661-4098. I think this is a great topic, and almost everybody has some kind of an opinion, has got some kind of a, a thought about it. What well, doesn't I, hate I'm take so much energy? It's just... Why use up your energy? It's a for lot hate. of work. It's a lot I, of work. I'm not a hateful person. I don't argue. I, I just don't have time for that. It, life I'm, is too short. I, and I've discussed why. I, all my family is dead. I've learned that really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Today might be your last day. Is this how you're going to spend it? 
Is this who you're going to be? Are you proud of that person? Good, good way to look at that. Right. I have a question for you, Troy. Now, for sure. This is radio, so we don't see Troy, but he dresses reasonably flamboyantly. He has large Fabulous. gold earrings and rings on every fingers, and I dress for success. And uh, <laughs> silver, I'm in the beauty silver business. high heel boots. He, so a, a little bit different than most of us. You're in the norm. How, when you go into Fred Meyer or something like that, is, do you have people staring at you? Obviously, you do, probably. But Well, since being gay, Troy, since I was born, yeah. People have been doing that. I'm used to it. Or I'll be in a store and some woman will yell out, Oh, my God, I love the shoes, RuPaul. Well, I told you about your shoes. Right. Yeah, sure. That's why I'm a super. Everybody loves, you know, women especially love the shoes or they love something right. about me, mm-hmm. which is I'd rather have that than the opposite. And I have had the opposite. That's why I carry around mace and a stun gun. People that don't like it for whatever reason. Well, how am I affecting you at all? Exactly. Have you? Has there been violent? Uh, oh, please! I've attacked? been visually attacked. Uh, 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 yeah, before. And, and everybody always asks. I don't know if you get this. What's the one piece of advice you can give a person that's just come out, especially if they're flamboyant like myself or whatever? I tell them. You've only got a split second if you're going to be attacked or something's going to happen. And this is what saved my life, seriously. And my dad taught me this. Um, you throw yourself on the ground and you Meryl Streep it. You just, uh, like, you're, <laughs> like you're having a seizure. I'm not kidding you. Wow. It will say, it's, it's had, literally has saved my life. Well, how? Because people scatter like cockroaches. They're, you're not going to get attacked and raped or, or murdered or whatever if you're having a seizure. Have you ever heard of that? No one wants to help somebody that's having a medical crisis, right? Right. Yeah. And people, and especially if they're, if they're attacking you, and you know you're going to lose. You know, there's a gang of five people. You're not going to win. I don't care if you're a woman or anybody. I used to teach safety, and I never thought of that one. I was. It's the best. I, I, it's the best one, piece yeah. of advice I can give to anybody, women, anybody that feels like they're going to be threatened physically. That's what you do. Hmm. Uh, I have we, to say, I fortunately have never been in the situation that I had violence turned on me. I've had violent people around me, but not turned on me directly. Well, you're, you're very you. lucky. I've had my nose broken six times. Wow. Well, when you were around those violent people, did you not express any gay? Uh, well, oh, usually they were pride events in Orange County, so you know you're around a but group you of other gay people that his look is what you would call. You just like a t- if I saw you walking down the street, you wouldn't think twice. Okay. If you were straighter, you pass. <laughs> There's the pastor. And there's ones that me that are born. I couldn't pass if I if you were blind. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> Stevie Wonder knows I'm that gay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right on. So it's a different type of. I'd like to make the situation. time to doll myself up every time I leave the house, but I'm uh, like an. I hour, live you know? for it. I live for it. That's all. Awesome. You got to get it down right because if you don't, it's, it's not worth doing. Oh, it takes years. So yeah. yeah, that's cool. We have what, another text. I guess the person is going to explain. This person says, one, used mostly in Great Britain. Example, one, can choose to listen to your show or not. Everybody's got choices. These are choices. Was that a dig? I I, I think. <laughs> I think it was trying to be. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know what Maybe yeah, just, be, just be a paranoid sitting here thinking right. that we're going to be. You know, we uh, again, shade, I'm right? so glad we could go back and world. forth with the humor and the, and the non-humor. I have to say about the non-humor places. These countries in Africa that have made homosexuality a death penalty. Legislate right. uh, hate. Yes, and I can't believe, now I'm not 100% sure of this, but if we should not do anything with people with that country if they're that far, I think. That's that's pretty horrific. That's, that's pretty uh, crazy. Can I make a, make a point on that? Oh, Rick? please. That didn't happen internally in Africa. Those are Christian nationalist type yeah. people that have Agreed. gone to the United States, yeah, Africa, to try and get these nations to take up their Thank cause. The people mm-hmm. that say save our children. Oh yeah, the ones that it would not happen. Messing them oh, over that's just, just is horrible. horrible. And like I said, every child is different. You can't. And please donate to our cause. They ask. Yeah, they always go to the children. The person did also texted in here, uh, trying to be funny. So <laughs> no, they weren't being. No. They're trying to be funny. So. No, no, they were throwing, they were throwing shade, and it, it didn't Thank work. Okay. You know, <laughs> next. God. Uh, no. They're just saying use one instead of they. You could use both. I had a, another interesting um, research thing about Ronald Reagan, of all people. One thing I didn't know, 
um, there was a Senator, John Briggs, many years ago, tried to pass something called the Initiative to Fire Educators Determined to be Homosexual. Does that ring a bell for anybody? I, I, oh, yeah, in every field they've had some kind okay, of... Okay, well, I didn't know about it. California went through that when I was a kid, too. Okay. Surprise. Did Charm- well, but Harvey Milk really, really helped did, us did, out on a lot of those issues. Oh, okay. Is great. Determined to be? Yeah, in other words, that, yeah, I know yeah. I know what it means, but it seems like an odd thing. Well, is it, that, well, was that yeah, like the avowed homosexuals? What was year that? was this? I should have, late seventies. Okay. At the time, sixty-one percent uh, were in favor, thirty-one percent no. Of all people, Ronald Reagan stepped in and supposedly got that out. Uh, whatever campaigned against it, so that was good. But I think about, I'm not a Reagan fan. Um, there's the story, and I. Pretty sure this is true about the Reagans and Rock Hudson when he yeah. was having trouble with AIDS. It's a well-known story. Okay, yeah. he, they, they basically turned their back on their mm-hmm. good friend. I, I That really galled me. Yeah. Uh, and again, Reagan was part of the problem because, uh, I've said this before on different shows, he's the one that befriended Jerry Falwell and the moral mm-hmm. majority because that was going to be a lot of votes for those. And money. It's all about money. And money. There you go. It's, it's still about money. Yeah. Who's got the power and the money? Yeah. So, my little snippet of history there. As far as being gay it's, and, and saving the children goes, I, I was a, a sexual abuse and sexual assault uh, investigator for several years with the state troopers and uh, worked with social workers and uh, was, was pretty well involved in, in sexual abuse of children. And um, almost 100%, in fact, I can think of one who was a, who was a gay predator, actual predator, and all the others were uh, married, Christians, heterosexuals mm-hmm. were, were, if you will, not saving the And children. those are the ones that are, the ones that are the loudest are the ones doing the dirty, dirty. Yeah, yeah. and uh, well, every we, time, every well, time. we had a suspect, you know, we would put down the reasons to, to, to list them as a suspect, this, 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 this. And if uh, if he was a, a, a fundamentalist a Christian, he went right to the top. I mean, that was that was a, that was a two star reason to believe. Yeah. What we used to call fundies, we still call them fundies. Call them what? Fundies. Funda- the fundamentalists. We always called them fundies. Fundies. Oh, okay. Good choice. <laughs> Making a comeback. Yeah. But anyway, we seem to be really rocking it today on the. Yeah. Uh, on the text line, so in case you're out there, if you want to be part of the in crowd that's texting us every minute, it seems like here, 541-661-4098. The subject, in case you're just tuned in, we're talking about, oh, I guess gays in society would probably be a good title for it. Pride Month. The Pride Month. The last Pride day of Pride Month. Night. Just this, out of communities, we're out there, and we're having a great time. And, you know, like... Um, I'm a, I'm a dancer, and I, 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 um, I dance at Wild River uh, Conservatory right here in Brookings, and Sky is my teacher, and there's adults there, like us, they're all children, and we just have such an amazing time. Every week there's someone new joining us, and I would really just see this community getting more back to liking each other, really. You know the well, the concept. Uh, yeah, I think right. I, I, th- I think what happens is as uh, people, as as gays become more accepted and uh, people know and have friends and everything that are gay, it just eventually is it, just, it has you. to I mean, just I, be accepted. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, when I, was, I don't care if you're gay or not; it doesn't matter. It's, you're you, you're first. When when I was a kid, you know, fourteen, fifteen years old, that was a big deal. If somebody was a fag, we uh, yeah. yeah, that was not or to good be at called all. one. Yeah, yeah, and, but, but we took back that word, don't you think? Nah. Right. That's a good way to do it too, isn't it? You took you back. Think about it, just like African Americans took their word back. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things. Some people, it's it's really hateful. We took it back, and we don't use it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, don't Limited. put another letter in that alphabet, it, it, it please. Just a, it just, you know, we, we, just there's enough letters that are hard enough to remember. To, oh, let's just have that part of the plus, the alphabet <laughs> soup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of people don't understand that either, and it's. I get that it can be confusing, but well, another we're ever we're ever growing. Another great sweet text here it is. <laughs> All right, proud of my husband Troy. Oh, oh my oh, baby, we got, got a ringer. We got a ringer. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's the best. He's All the right. Best. All right. So Ray, can I pick up on your point about youth and kids? 
And I want to specifically also go back to the Stonewall point. I'm part of the Stonewall Caucus. Actually, I sit on the executive committee as the fundraising chair of the state Stonewall oh. Caucus for okay. the Democratic Party. Wow. What do you uh, do? And so what we do is we help to get uh, spaces in, in pride events together with the Democratic Party in different counties. But the caucus, the, the state caucus, helps to um, get the word out to people in counties and let people know that they're not alone where they live. And we usually will sponsor parades. I know Portland's got big pride. We had oh, yeah. one here in Brookings this year. This was like did. our third one. Southern Oregon Coast Pride's been putting that on for the past three years. Yeah. And this was a big They're one great. this year. We did a really great job. A lot of family and kids out. Had a really good time. But I want to go back to the youth on this. Um, I'm also a member of the Gun Owners Caucus of the Democratic Party. If, if you want to go oh, down that, no. we, can, we can have that discussion <laughs> another day. Yes. But in fact, I'm I want to have that discussion again another day. I'm involved with that caucus specifically around the subject of suicide. Mm. Number one, and it's not a that. pretty subject, but something we right. really have to address. Mm -hmm. Our our gay youth are four times more likely to commit suicide than any of our other kids, and it's right. really sad that any kids in a position. Oh, to totally. You bet. That way. Yeah, you bet. It's because what they've been told, and they're worthless. That they're that they're less than, yeah. and they're not. And I was I'm, that's why I'm so thankful. And I say it every day. My parents never never once made me feel like it's wrong, but but. As soon as a girl pops out of the womb, here's a baby doll. Go, go be a mom. Right. Here's a truck. Go be this. So that's a lot to play into too. You know that might not be who you are. No. But it's also why you and I both have worked in outreach so much. Let people know that it's okay to be gay. And yeah, not, and there's all still, different types of gay we still people. Still love you if you're not. You're our ally and our friend. Exactly. But we want to we love create spaces for for gay kids, especially who are struggling with who they are. Wow. Right. Well, not to mention being teased and. All the other things that comes with growing up. And that's part of the thing about having pride events. It allows people to come out and be involved in their community on a level that they otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity. Right. And see that and, other people are thriving as right. whoever they are. I understand that we have a, a gay club here in, in the school. Oh, Brookings? I, yeah. I, I don't know. Probably. There, there should uh, be. There, I, there is in Crescent City. There, there is? is. I've heard yes. Of, and or, a junior high, and even in the junior high. Right. There's... There's clubs just for the LGBT. I've heard that recently with Brookings High. And it's can't confirm it for sure, but I have heard that. It's not taught. It's just a club that they have that in common, yeah. just like, right. like, like the clarinet. Club. So yeah. <laughs> I was in the chess club. You know, it, it's just one of those things that are in common. Huh. It's wow. nothing groomful. Well, what I'm, I, I mentioned that as, a, as a, uh, a kind of an indication of how far things have come or that things have come. I mean, it would... Uh, there was, certainly would not have been a gay club when when uh, I went to school. In fact, I can't think of any kids that would have been gay or acted gay or anything like that. We did have one teacher who was very effeminate, but uh, but you know, like he's saying, how many of those people did you know committed suicide over it? Right, right. You didn't know those people either, did you? But no. they were there. There was I tell you, there was gay people everywhere. Were everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I'm sure they were there, either, but there was nobody. But, who, helping who, them to nobody determine, would please like don't you kill are. yourself. You you matter. That's huge. That's so important. Well, and I don't know if you came out where you grew up. I did. I, I, I'm gay. I, got, I, did, I didn't come out of nothing. Right. My mom, that's military. about it. <laughs> so you were everywhere. But I came out of the town where I grew up. And as I got further into my 20s and I was getting out into the clubs and meeting people, I started seeing all these teachers from junior high school, uh -huh. high school. Yeah, was, uh -huh. like, okay, now that makes sense. Of course, we became friends. But did you feel you had to represent something when you came out? Like, what does that mean mm -hmm. gay to you? I mean, what does that look like on your end? I don't know that I ever felt like I have to stand up and represent. I just try to be me and, and, and keep Whatever that is. And that's, that's, yeah. But luckily, like you're saying, you pass. So you're, you're not... Doesn't make That's it a, any easier. It, it does. Well, it doesn't, but I would imagine just been looking at you, you'd be like... Because I'm the one that stands up for people that don't pass. Which is good. Of a crowd that might which is great. turn on me, you know? Because I think that's the biggest rub, because yeah. people can't tell by looking at you. And that's uh -huh. ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, well, you can't tell a murderer just by looking at him uh, or no, I think whatever. You, you may be the exception to what you just said. Oh, well, honey... I'm uh, proud of where I stand. Right, right. right. So look all you want. Take a picture. Trust me, they do. Yeah. And we all are. And however we can help our our, our, our community. Yeah. Coming up. Be and proud out. of what you stand for, but just stand for something prideful. And a right? positive text that we got in. If I am not hurting anyone, then don't worry about my lifestyle. There you go. I certainly don't worry about yours. There, there you go. go. If anything, help other people. That's all we 
I, I totally enjoy it. Like I work for the hospice organization. I love it. It, it, it's not about the money. It's what you do for other people in, in this well, lifetime. And growing up, I'm 71, growing up. Uh, really? You look great. Right. Oh, in fact, it's, it's the fat cells around my Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. But. Useful um, glow. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, again, you've grown up 50s and not a lot of, I didn't know any gay back then. My point is. Uh, was I uncomfortable with it as a high school kid and in the military when they found out in the Air Force, Ray, in the Air Force, <laughs> when I went and got uh, with a bunch of people from everywhere, Louisiana, Texas, Wisconsin, with the, the F word was thrown around for me because I'm from California. Yes. Now, it wasn't really, I'd never gotten a, a, barely a fight, but it was sort of joking, but that's just how it was, you know, land of fruits and nuts, whatever. But, and it always, I, I was uncomfortable back then. But when I found out many of my family, not many, some of my family members and friends were gay later in life, like, oh my, you know, I love these people. That it, 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 The people that are very homophobic, I wonder if they, they can't have people, or well, they might have people in their family that are gay, but they don't know it. I just think that- They don't uh, want to accept it, yeah. Or accept it. But so how did you, what and were the examples for you? They're well suppressed as well, I might add. Yeah. Yeah, people yeah, yeah. They don't know are gay but, because they're pressed into that. Right. Who, who was your Who was your role models? You know, uh, what was his name on? Um, uh, what was that? Square, Hollywood Squares. You know. Oh, Paul Lynn. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's oh, all you yeah. had was these. If you had saw a gay person, they were either funny and elaborate and fabulous, sure. and that's all you thought they were some kind of clown. I guess the uh, as far as role model, um, and I'm sure my brother in law is okay if, if he's listening. And I, it was my was my brother in law. He was younger, and my wife and I were dating. Up oh, my. His sister and I were dating. Anyway, we were trying to set him up with these other girls, and finally he came out. And I thought, wow, he's gay. I'll, I'll be damned. That was the first one. But I had other friends and uh, another family member that I, that I can't say right now. But so it was just, uh, it opened up to me that every, everybody's pretty much basically the same as far as feelings and love and that that's, kind what, of that's what we're all really here for at the end of the day right yeah. is to love each other and get we through all, this thing we all have something to contribute to society totally and i'll just throw that out there back to the political thing because that's kind of the monster i am those are the boots boots that i kick right now yeah right? i have to work with everybody in the community i can't tune out republicans and i can't tune out someone who i may not agree with if i'm going to work in the legislature i have to work on behalf of everyone and that, well, that's the difference. Regardless you want to work know. with everybody, and not everybody wants to unless you are this particular thing. And we all, we all know what we're talking about. But it's bridging that gap and you know, letting it, people yeah, know that- Yeah, that's the way it, it should be. Well, let's all work together right. at this thing. It's going to help us all than just you or just me. And Because like, the more people that we have contributing to our society, the better off we all are. Totally. So if you're going to exactly. push, push a handful of people aside, we're going to have issues with health care around suicide and- we need everybody. Things that are going to cost us more money to deal with in the future. So, but it's all about control and money. Yeah. Let everybody be themselves is, and, and contribute as is, they see fit. Is being gay part of your campaign at all, or is it work into it, or is it just? I'm openly a, a gay candidate, right? But it's not what you are. It's like you don't jump out of bed and go, "We, I'm a gay person." Uh, yeah, that's who I am. No, I don't, I don't it, give it's it who you are, but you, right, it's <laughs> not like the first stamp I, on your 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 campaign. I, well, I get I, my card stamped every time I get it. <laughs> I missed the last meeting, darn it. Darn, uh, that's it, why we didn't get the agenda today. Right. <laughs> I, <laughs> the, just, I just love so that saying. You ought to have a T-shirt. We, I'm a gay person. <laughs> uh, on our, like I said, for our first pride, that's what it said. What's your gay agenda? Yeah. And we, yeah, we don't. Have, can't we just love each other? Come on. <laughs> My most radical T-shirt along those lines is I, I, I bought at a gay tea shop in Key West. Is uh, too many right wing Christians and not enough lions. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. I only wear that shirt to collect, uh, selectively. Okay, you got about uh, six minutes if you want to join in and yell at us or Boy, agree with us. Five four one six six one. Four zero nine eight, and there's going to be representation at the Fourth of July parade in Crescent City. If LGBT wants to come out, I'll be there. We'll be there. Just walking and standing proud. Very cool. Well, I got another supporter for you. This is the best KCIW broadcast since the Court Boyce investigation. Oh my! Oh wow! What? I missed the start, so not sure who you're t talking with. They're awesome too. So maybe you can, uh, you, you can text. I think we've ever got on a what? That is, yeah. You could, you can, you can listen to us uh, 
uh, online, the repeat of this show. Yeah. Go okay. to kciw.org and click the various things you need to click. And Half the show. program is called the uh, Curry Cafe. I have one person watching on YouTube as well. Wow. There you go. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to know that. I'm plugged in here. I didn't you even are. know it. No. You're going to go viral. You know it. Cameras. <laughs> Where are the cameras? I'd have combed my hair if I'd known. <laughs> so who are our guests here, Rick? Troy, Troy Leah. Troy yeah. Leah. And Brett Cecil. Brett Cecil. Hello. Good to have you all here. And man, are we Thank happy you for the text you guys, messages. You guys, yeah. You guys showed up. This has been fantastic. We're Second best happy. ever. Wow. That's a good. That's a well, good. and remind us of who our hosts are. You've been so cordial with us today. Well, the main man of, is always is Mr. Ray Gary, the producer and host, and right I just right. tag along yeah, he, volunteer Rick McNamer. He t- t- he's a tag uh, along that sets up the whole show. Let me ask he's you, a, hey, you've got long hair. Does that does anybody come to you and go, oh, well, that's kind of sissy? Like not anymore. <laughs> but they but you've got I mean, if, you, before, if you look right? around, it's very common well, people no, my but, age of just sure, quit getting hair. Yeah, you just don't care anymore. <laughs> yes, but, but, exactly. But you groom your beard, your mustache very nicely. Yeah. Having a mustache myself. That, that takes work and thought, oh. right? Because if you let that grow out here and you, yellow, white hair, it, you'd be looked at differently, yeah, right? Would, yes, I would look like an old guy with a beard and long hair. <laughs> so, Troy, am, but I, now you're grown. am I hearing a little envy over there? Yeah, that, no, it's, it's I, good. I, I could, I could it, think it, of me a, a like straight that. person that's <laughs> right on. groomed and nice. You take the time to, to do that. Yeah. Yes. I'm, but I'm, so many don't. I'm hoping the ladies will notice as well. They, but, uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> A funny on the, even a white is nice, right? Here's a funny for you on the beard thing. I stopped at a hardware store surprise on my way in, and the the cashier was ringing me up. He's like, "Oh, excuse me, I was just eating my lunch, and he had his lunch in his beard." Oh, okay. I don't mind if you don't mind that I have some too. Well, okay, right? <laughs> it's a good thing. Got to keep it trimmed and clean and stuff. Yeah, All right, we're coming work. coming in, cruising in to for a landing here. We the, need to know the man of the hour about. Moi, no, yeah, I'm just, own moi. I'm just here listening and enjoying. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm so glad you guys showed up. That, like I said, this is about the most fun we, I've had. We thank you for inviting us. I thought it was it really cool. is. It's been a real pleasure. And we can invite you to be KCIW volunteers if you want to put together your own show. You can do that. As wow. can anybody listening in. We are a totally volunteer that. organization. Really, we have no government funds. The only funds we have are from. Uh, People who contribute and an occasional grant, um, yeah. And if you, if you have a uh, a show you would like to do, be it some kind of a music show or, uh, heaven forbid, a gun show, something like that. And uh, let's say the, get yeah, There's us. a lot of talented hey, people in our community. You, yeah, that's good to know. Because so those yeah. gun ideas aren't just about pulling the trigger. You know, it's working on legislation that helps legislation protect yeah. against gun violence. There you go. Exactly. You know, I exactly. talked to the sheriff uh, a, a while back, and he's against these uh, the ban on thirty round clips. Is it in a in a in a, in a, in yeah, a gun gun everybody's against and, those. And and yeah. and he's he's worried all about the gun rights and everything. And I and I asked him, so well, what about my rights? I have to wander around on the streets where there are people carrying thirty round clips in their gun. Uh, it don't matter. I think yeah. It puts you on eggshells because you're like, I better not say the wrong thing or move the wrong way. Well, now you get a little taste of what gay people have been filling for, for, for in Stonewall. I was in combat yeah. in Vietnam, and I carried an M16 with 18 rounds in the clip. So, uh, I but you were at war. I was in combat. Uh, yeah, I know. Right, you were at war. This is if the, you the, can't what? hit your target with with 10 rounds in the clip, oh, you might on. need to look for a different job. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right, now we're down to the last minute. Last oh, minute. Do you have any so final fast. things? Thank you for Did the it? text and fun. Especially, shout out I to have my one fling yeah. through my head, but it's long gone. Yeah, this old brain doesn't hang on to as much as it used to. But you got to remember a lot of stuff. Being in a, a, no. running for office, you got to remember names. But that's what. Hey, I, I had a and, wonderful and, thing happen this this week twice. I was looking for something in the shop, and I remembered where I put it. Hey, I didn't that. have to go through every drawer and every cabinet. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I hung. You're going to the kitchen before you, you write that. In, so write that in your journal and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, right? Right on. Okay, that's I uh, hear the bumper music easing oh, in here. So, so, thank wait. you very much for listening to. Thank you, uh, Curry Cafe, and thank you to my guests for being here. Thank you for having. Me. And uh, you can check us out every week at three o'clock on Sunday the curry cafe and check us out online right now too and that's it see ya thank you bye bye